For most people living in large cities, the only affordable dwellings are apartments in high-rise buildings. But when the city is built on soft soil and close to a fault line, where one plate of the Earth's crust pushes against another, as in the case of Mexico City, earthquakes can be exceptionally deadly. In this case, the Cocos Plate, which is out in the ocean, pushes underneath the North American Plate, which is where the continent is. And as it goes underneath, where it rubs uh, between the two is where the majority of earthquakes are. The main reason why traditionally built high-rise buildings suffer catastrophic damage in strong earthquakes is their rigid construction, which does not dampen and dissipate the energy transmitted from the ground into the walls. That was not the case for the 246-meter-high Torre Reforma building, which withstood the September quake. It was built last year, according to the codes adopted after the 1985 earthquake. It has triangular construction with openings in the walls that look like a design feature, but serve a very practical purpose. Those openings allow the concrete walls to bend and to move differently in order to take the seismic uh, force and to liberate energy. Another improvement over the traditional construction is a 60 meter deep foundation as well as diagonal supports. The diagonals help the building to control the lateral movements. So in this case the diagrid, which is this one, also allows to support the, the, the load and bring it back to the concrete walls. That's why the building behaves like that. Okay. And we are very happy with, with what happened with the building because the building behaves beautiful. Scientists say close monitoring of seismic activity, efficient public alert system, and construction of buildings according to earthquake-proof codes can significantly reduce property damage and loss of life when an earthquake strikes. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.